Yo, what is going on, you sleepless sea now Today we're playing some games with Dragapult, but it's the other Dragapult. It's the baby Dragapult with that Phantom Force attack and the Infiltrator ability, which is the main reason to play the card, which says if we take any damage by an attack, uh, full point of heads, we prevent that damage. So theoretically, if we get hit by, you know, full bliss from Pikaram, got 150 HP, it does 150 damage, but if we get heads on Infiltrator, it takes zero damage. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's the main point of the deck, just set up a bunch of Dragapults. So we've got a 4-1-4 Dragapult line. Uh, the only other attacker I have in here currently is the Baby Blacephalon. I had a Garatina in here at one point. Eh, only kind of stuck around with the Baby Blonde because I feel like we do need something else to kind of be a little bit easier to attack with on a turn. Um, and Baby Blonde is kind of the most consistent one to use. Um, I could use Nihilago, but Nihilago is kind of late, later into the game where it's like um, when I'm trying to take a turn off not being able to set up a Dragapult, I still could whiff on the other turn potentially, and then I just lose the game anyway. So uh, Baby Blonde has been nice as the one prize attacker in the deck. Uh, yeah, 414 Dragapult, it's our main attacker with the Phantom Force, 120 for two second, 30 to uh, our bench po opponent's bench Pokemon any way we like. We got a 2 2 Malamar in here to um, accelerate energy into play, make it more easy to go back to back Dragapults or back to back to back to back Dragapults. Um, Mew to protect our bench from Cramorant because we want them attacking our active uh, or the tag bolt from peak around i got a feeling to be able to push their active out of the way so that i can clean it up with the phantom force as opposed to you know if they have like one hp remaining on their active i don't really want a phantom force it's like a lot of wasted potential damage uh ditto in here unless the main reason we play the uh dracloak um so we can evolve the ditto up into a dragon ball through that or just become a melamar for jirachi jirachi engine deck we are one prizer deck so we can get into jirachi quite a few times and utilize that stellar wish for treasure for a quick ball built similar to a Malamar deck. I don't play any uh, horror energy right now because I'm finding it to be a little bit too inconsistent in getting Malamar going alongside it. And then I was like discarding them a lot of the times through my researches. Um, and yeah, playing just basic energy made my treasures and quick balls more flexible. Uh, we have spell tags in here because we do do some spread damage. We got the baby blonde turn. So uh, we can pressure, you know, like Jirachis and stuff pretty hard, pretty aggressively and take some. Uh, two hit KO turns um, on stuff like that. Four rare candy. Got to get the uh, Dragon Bolt out. Two Viridian Forest. Uh, one reset stamp for the late game so they can't just like boss's orders around my Dragon Bolt in the late game. And then all of a sudden just say, you know, they have two prizes left. They can't just go boss, boss out of like a big 10 card hand that they've kind of built up. Um, late game stamp to kind of stop that. Make them go through that Infiltrator ability. Hopefully we get a heads. And um, yeah, that's the list. Uh, eight Psychic Energy. Like I said, similar to like a Malamar build here. Um, which is the basic energy because gotta gotta make sure um, we can use our psychic recharge and that when we're discarding our energy we'll be able to get them back through psychic recharge yeah, that's it that's the list let's go ahead let's play some games all right getting into our first game here and like malamar i am going to choose to go second because i think being able to play that draw supporter on the first turn to get that extra reach for the turn is a pretty big deal so i like going second with this deck just like i like going second with uh with malamar and we got a pretty good Starting hand here, double Jirachi, uh, double treasure, spell tag. So we can get some stuff with the treasures. Maybe are we treasure away Jirachi plus maybe our top deck. Uh, get some um, get some Dreepies, uh, some other stuff. I maybe want to put, now that I see this Fion here from our opponent, I kind of want to put the second Jirachi down. So maybe I'll like treasure away the top deck. Keep this treasure in the deck. Spell tag to Dreepy. Play the Cynthia. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. That seems reasonable to me though. Um... Yeah, we'll see. Alright, there's a Intrepid Sword. So it looks like turn two Brave Blade coming out from our opponents. There's a Dreepy. I still go ahead and grab a another Dreepy, because I'd hate for them to have boss knock out my Dreepy. And then I have no Dreepy. So don't want that to happen. And Cynthia. So pretty clean still. Lost a treasure to a treasure, which is never great. But um, not the worst thing ever as well. Found a reinforce. Gonna get rid of a psychic. Get a psychic. And then I'm going to Stellar Wish, hopefully into a draw supporter. Not quite. We got our candy or a treasure here. I think I'm going to take the Quick Ball, actually. And I will Quick Ball away. Uh, yeah, another Psychic Energy to grab a Inkay. Here. Bench Inkay, attach to GP, and then pass over to my opponent. I did want to keep the second Jirachi around because we use Stellar Wish with this guy. Um, this one, after our opponent knocks out this one. Um, if they knock out this one, I guess they could still boss here, knock something else out. They could do that. Um, I want to be able to, ooh, ADP station. This has got to be a tough matchup for sure. We're going to do our best. It's going to involve our opponent whiffing a lot of gust effects and us getting a lot of heads on infiltrator. I think though, if we do somehow win this one, seems 
pretty rough. Probably just want to go ahead and just like plan to not use Baby Blown actually, to be honest, at all in this matchup. Baby Blown does not seem very good. There's a Sky Pillar as well. That's going to be annoying to deal with. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, that's going to be rough because um, we don't spread damage. I mean, we do have another counter stadium for it. And they have Fion. So we need to get up like double, what's it called, as soon as possible. Um, going to get this research. Unfortunately, we do lose a Dragon Bolt here. Um, evolve to Malamar and then play the research. Yeah, we lose a Dragon Bolt, but oh well, goodbye. One, two, three, four, five, six. No rare candies. Um, a new spell tag for that guy. And going to treasure away. Well, I think. I'm going to get the Track Loak. Plenty of candy, plenty of dudes. Alright. Like low. All of this guy. I don't know if I, I'm gonna, eh. I'm gonna go ahead and put it all on. Eh, we can put it here. Eh, or here. Or here. Eh, let's go here. I don't think they have boss orders. So it'll be fine. Um Yeah, but just did pass. So we need to set up uh, a lot of dragon bolts, because we need they, we know they have a constant Fion that they probably won't use this turn, so it'll be in play next turn, which will allow them to just get you yeah, access to, but like if we don't have two Dragapult, we can't set up a Dragapult and then a Dragapult. So we have to just Fion and then we'll have to set up something that's not a Dragapult and we'll get two prizes off it. So, it's going to be tough, uh, but <laughs> there's definitely a chance we can win. We just need a lot of Infiltrator heads when they do attack. It's going to be an Intrepid Sword. Okay, this is huge. An extra turn to work with on our end is a big deal. Hopefully, we're a Candy Top deck. Nope, not this time. All right, Evolve three or two. There was three Dragapult in the end. And I'm going to set the go. Just want to attack this turn. Okay, Skateboard is good. If we can get a treasure no treasure hmm we have this candy in our hand though because mm -mm. we should still go for the research though we we'll really get a treasure next turn all right so i get recharge to this guy uh, brilliant forest and then we'll bring in forest away a jirachi don't really need that we have a psychic energy psychic energy here skateboard here retreat to the uh drag pole and yeah, swing, bro. Phantom Force, 130. Three damage counters. I mean, they're probably going to use Fion this turn. We should probably just pressure the Zation. I'm not sure how much damage we've gone. But if they go, you know, if we can get three more there and then they knock us out, we can spell tag there and then hit for 120. We'll knock out the Zation because we'd have 100 on there. So this seems pretty good. Put the three there. Hopefully hit again with Phantom Force. Um, we'll see. They got a pretty big hand. So finding our reset stamp um, soon is going to be a pretty big deal. Um, cause we want to be able to just stop, like I said, stop them from having boss. Oh, we also need multiple, um, multiple, uh, Dragapult set up so we can play. It's interesting that they went for the Malamar. I guess it's okay. We do have a ditto to make another Malamar out of. So I'm like, this, this play that ended up, with the way it ended up breaking down, I'm just like really fine with this, to be honest. Um, all right, go Jirachi. And then I'm probably going to Stellar Wish before I research because I do want to try and find a treasure. Even though I only have one treasure left to use this rare candy with. Uh, but I could just research. We have three candy left in the deck. I still don't need that many candy. Um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and research. I need to try and attach to another... Uh, actually, even attaching to another Dreepy doesn't really do anything. And we whiffed the Dragapult, which there are plenty of left in the deck. Um, go with Quick Ball away. This. Grab myself my own Fionn. Yeah, there's three Dragapult. Two Dragapult and a treasure. So, see if we can't get that treasure here off this Stellar Wish. There we go. Perfect. We do need to try and set up actually two more though, actually. We do, yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and treasure away the Fion for now. If they knock out a Dragapult, we still need another Dragapult in play to once again protect ourselves from Fion. So if they knock out this Dragapult, if they swing through this Dragapult, like, all right, I gotta go through this Dragapult. We need another Dragapult in play to protect us from the next guy, and so on. All right, retreat. And here we go again, Phantom Force, three on the Zacian. And this is all assuming that we get a um get the reset stamp to kind of prevent the boss's orders from just happening so they got a big hand they just used the boss they could easily have like another boss and a quick ball for an elder goss um so you can make sure we keep double dragapult in play protect ourselves from the whirlpool suction we got one last dragapult in the deck two rare candy so the rare candy we're guaranteed to see next turn if we are able to play the cynthia it's just will be drawn to the dragapult um pretty good chance to drawing six of nine cards maybe we can top deck a playable card or a card we could thin out should be pretty easy to uh to do i think here comes that zation are they going for the brave blade into the active i'm hoping they do 
Um, big charm. Oh, but no, they already have this. I was going to be on this Asian, which would be a little bit annoying to get the knockout, but it's going on the active here. Here's a Marnie. That's actually pretty helpful. Helps us see more cards. Um, no candy, though. But we will be able to find it if they do knock us out. We're just kind of hoping they don't knock us out overall, though. And hopefully they just have to Brave Blade into us. That's what we've been wanting to have happen this whole game. If they just have to Brave Blade into us, that is... That's perfect. That's ideal. That's what we're looking to have happen. Brave Blade Infiltrator Heads one time. There's an extra energy on the station. I'm not sure why they have an air balloon. They can already retreat it. We hit a Tails. Okay. Spell tag triggers, though. So that's pretty nice. And we can go one, two, three, four. So we can knock this out next turn. Like I said, 30, 30, 40, 100. We do 120. Um, knocks out station. Pretty cool. All right. Send up the Jirachi. I want a top deck reset stamp or eh, it's not either of them. I stellar wish. I only see candy. So that means reset stamp was prized anyways. Or we got rid of it early on. All right. I didn't think I had seen it. I didn't check my prize card. So no surprise that uh, it's where it is. Um, attach. I am going to evolve this. Just get out of my deck. And if they got the boss's orders here, they got the boss's orders here. There's nothing we can do about it. Just going to go ahead and make sure this Malmark can retreat. And retreat to Dragapult. I mean, I guess if they bring it up and knock it out, I lose anyways. We got the double Dragapult set up, which was important. Now, Fion can't win them the game. Uh, it doesn't matter where I put this because of it's got a pillar. Get two prize cards. Yeah. Would have been great to have that reset stamp here. Stamp them to two. Decrease their odds of having that boss. But no such luck. So now it all comes down to does our opponent just not have the boss? And can we just sit here and infiltrator hit some heads? Because there's probably no reason for them not to swing into us. They probably will just swing into us. We'll see here, though. Um, but we set up pretty well overall. This is just a tough matchup. Um, they can pretty easily win this one. They play at least three bosses orders. Usually boss, boss, Elder Goss. Sometimes three boss and an Elder Goss. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty tough. Uh, we just need to hit heads a lot. Um, when we can get them into the situation, which can be tough, especially with the Fion, that puts a lot of pressure on us, like I've been saying, because it means we have to have two Dragapult set up at all times, as opposed to just the one in the active, and if they have boss, they have boss, so it doesn't matter, but because of the Fion, gotta have something to go into, uh, so Dead Eye Change did not hit the boss into the research, um, I'm not gonna lie, if I had to bet, I would assume they have the boss in their hand at this point, Reset Sand Battle Prize would have been a big deal, did not hit it, so, uh, and even on top of that, we are in a situation where we have to hit Infiltrator Heads, even though they have two prize cards left. Yeah, ADP, the GX attack drawing the extra prize card puts a ton of pressure on us. Almost too much pressure, to be honest. Um, definitely a bad matchup. Fion there. Uh, either they're going to bench something or they're hoping we'd misclick. Um, definitely interesting, because I feel like it is better. I guess it doesn't matter if it's in play, because I'm always sending up a Dragon Ball no matter what. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's in play. Um, but I don't know why it's good in the deck, to be honest. There's a scoop up net. Uh, that's curious, but I assume that means no. I have no idea why they would scoop up net there. Aranguru there actually, to be honest, I have, I have no idea. Maybe they're afraid of me somehow winning the game. Another tails, and we're gonna take an L here to the ADP. Yeah, I gotta get some heads at some point, but uh, no such luck in this one. Let's see if we can't get that luck in the next. All right, we're into a another one here. Jirachi starts. No quick ball or treasure in the opening hand, so not um, not great yet. We've got the Verdian Forest, got a spell tag, which is pretty cool. Would love to put the spell tag on a Dreepy, or kind of a, a Dreepy short here. Who knows, maybe we'll top tag him. Um, slow start from our opponent, though. It's good to see. Go ahead, throw out the Verdian Forest. I'm, like, tempted to try and find a treasure or a... What's it called here? I'm just going to go with the Cynthia. Yeah, need some poke. Need some basic poke here. Another Jirachi is okay. Mew is okay. Um... I want to like run out of energy. Just go ahead and treasure away. Psychic. Grab myself the Dreepy. Go ahead and Stellar Wish. Grab myself the Quick Ball. And I guess I'll Quick Ball away the other Psychic to grab myself a Inkay. All right. Pretty slow start. There's a Bolt in here, so it's probably peek around, but it could not be. So I'm not gonna put down the Mew yet. No Psychic in play, and this might get bumped by uh, Thunder Mountain next turn, which would might make it pretty difficult to find energy. So we're in a um, okay spot. Not as good as our last start in our last game, um, but that one was unfortunately up against an ADP, which is just kind of a bad matchup. All right, there's the Volkner. Probably, yeah, it's probably Picaram. Hopefully, um, my ideal hope here is that they use Electrify, give us one extra kind of turn to play with to try and set up these Dragapults, because... The way our early turns here are looking is um, looking not so good. Um, 
yeah, looking not great, but hopefully that can change, you know, with an electrify from our opponent. Give ourselves some time, a little bit more time to set up. That would be uh, ideal. We'll see, though. Um, they use a Volkner, so they're not trying to hold a ton of cards. I actually didn't see what's the second. Oh, that was okay. It was a dead end I grabbed. Then they went in Viridian Force. Get that second lightning in the discard pile. Makes sense to me. And six new cards. Open no tag bolt, or not tag bolt, no full blitz happens. Quick ball. Here comes the Coco Prism, I assume. Maybe something else to attach energy to. Um, yeah, Coco Prism. Switch E switch, Thunder Mountain switch, Zerora Thunder Mountain. There's a lot of ways they could have it. Only three cards left in hand, though. They've dead changed. They've used their supporter for the turn. A lot of ways they could still uh, get it, but with a three card hand, hopefully unlikely. Um, and they just go with an Electrify. All right, let's go. Giving us a little bit more time to work with. And the Viridian Force stuck into play, which is great for us. Um, they can tag Balt us next turn, so we want to prepare for that. So we're going to go, whoop, Stellar Wish first. All right, Escape Board. Let's try and find a supporter off this one then, I guess. Could thin out the deck with Viridian Force. Get rid of Psychic. Maybe I should have done that initially. We can do that now. I don't want to run out of Psychic Energy, though, which is something that can happen. I probably should have just done that initially, though. I don't think I'm that scared of running out of it yet. And we once again whiffed a supporter. All right. So now we're in a little bit of a tough spot. That's where it gets kind of tough. We'll attach. And this, even though we could still theoretically, I didn't plan to get a Candy Dragapult out this turn. Uh, if that if I did, that would have been great. Yeah, I didn't really plan to get out a Candy Dragapult this turn. But now we're kind of like one less, one more turn behind, like digging through our deck with a draw supporter. That we could have just not been. Um, but now we are. Um, so make gonna make things a little bit tougher here. Um, but looks like our opponent doesn't have a whole ton going on on their side either, as there's that Bolt Storm. So Candy Dragapult here, still pretty good. Uh, if we can get it, there's another Dreepy. Stellar Wish. There's a Cynthia. Okay, can we find a rare Candy and a Dragapult off this Cynthia? Let's find out. Keep the treasure in the deck. Increase our chances, and super close, but not quite. Um. Yeah, yikes. What does this guy do for an attack? I think we have to hit him with a quick attack here. I'm going to treasure away a... Once again, a Psychic Energy. I don't want to thin out the deck any more of Psychics. Grab the Dracloak. Make it that much easier to get into the dude on the next turn. I'm going to go here. <clears throat> Evolve. Spell Tag. And I do want to try and trigger as many Spell Tags as possible. Um... Throw it here. I'm not going to attack with a quick attack, though, just for fear of running out of energy. Retreat to the guy with the spell tag and pass. If our opponent, for some reason, just doesn't knock this out, we just have that much more time to work with. So I uh, wouldn't really mind that happening. We'll probably put the four damage counters on the Boltons, although, I mean, we can't, yeah, we can't really just KO two Pikaram. So we probably have to, like, KO a Bolton, a Pikaram, and maybe a Dedenne or something like that. I'm actually not sure. So, yeah, we're following. We ideally give up the first prize most of the time in our games, but ideally on the next turn is when we, like, get the... Out. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. I just wanna go here. Try and kill like a Dedenne, a Boltund, and a Pikaram. Um, all right, Jirachi to the active. We can for sure attack with Dragapult this turn. We ideally also want a draw supporter to go with that. Hey, there's a research. Now we're chilling. Attach to the Dreepy, evolve to the Dragapult, play the research. Boom, 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 boom. That is like too much stuff for. So this could go here. Treasure away, a quick ball. Yeah, that was like too many discard cards, not enough cards to discard kind of situation. Candy out, another Dragapult. Okay, now we're in business. Dragapults are up. Dragapults online. We can Baby Blown next turn. Which I would probably do to set up the Dene. Probably must throw like all. Oh, we can put three in play here. Um, yeah, let's go on to Dene. And then we have to like knock out one of the Pikaroms plus a Dene. And we'll see what our opponent. Uh, does on their turn then we'll see what we do from there but we can quick ball for the baby blown we do need like another draw supporter to work with because our hand doesn't quite work fully it works but we need some more stuff to work with it for sure uh, we probably have to shuffle back in psychic energy here as well because uh, we've gone through quite a few psychic energy there's two here two here there's only two left in the deck two here two here two in the deck so need some more of that there's a radar for the Dene from our opponents. Let's see what they get. I don't really want to use my ordinary rod though because I want to save it to potentially recover Mew. So I continuously I can continuously play around Tag Bolt. Um, I guess I've been playing like I'm for sure gonna get knocked out. It's possible my opponent whiffs the knockout, or when they attack into us, we get heads on infiltrator. So there's a run to a Pikaram. 
And there's a boss. All right, goodbye, Musi. But all right, so they KO'd it this turn, which is good for us, because then we can recover it immediately, and we can just like, get the Mew back, which is like a big deal. We don't want Mew not in play. We want Mew in play. Um, we might just give up on the Baby Blonde at this point, though. We don't really need it. We just need three Dragon Balls more to uh, win this game, so I don't think we really need it anymore, to be honest. End up this. Okay, so I'm going to do... Uh, how many spell tags do I have left? All right, so I'm going to do this. Uh, do both, like I was saying. Get back a Mew and a Dreepy. And then two Psychics. And then... Um, get rid of the spell tag. I'm going to get the Mew. Protect ourselves from that Tag Bolt, like I've been saying. And then play the Cynthia. We need a Dreepy down. No Dreepy yet. We can get a Dreepy if I treasure. I'll probably treasure away the Ditto at this point, actually, to be honest. Treasure away Ditto. Get a Dreepy. Uh, we have two energy back in the deck. And eh, so shh. And I'll get a football. Bench a dreep. Um, um I guess I could have actually done this. I didn't realize I didn't have any in my discard pile anymore because of the uh the what's it called? We got one left in the deck. Alright. Gotta make sure we can retreat everything still. We do have a couple of skateboards left that we could use to retreat the Malamar. We don't want to get stuck in the active. Retreat. And then we attack with that Phantom Force. Um, and now our prize cards are a little bit split up. Like, this guy's hit pretty hard, but I could, like, put it some on Picaram. Pretty hard to, because they're going to probably attack with Picaram no matter what. So I could just go KO two Picarams. Just put this damage onto Dene. Uh, but I two shot the Picaram anyway, so putting damage there doesn't make any sense really. When this thing gets knocked out, I can knock out that. So I can, like, pressure the Dene still, actually, I feel like is best. So that way I can go knock out a Picaram. To Dene and Bolton. We do need to still like hit a heads or two on the infiltrator here at some point. I could have reset Stamp Blast turn. I opted not to. There's another boss on my Mew. Maybe I should have played the Stamp Blast turn to uh, potentially make it so they don't have the boss. I was thinking about doing it this turn though, if they do knock out another Pokemon. Um, and we're coming down to the Nidia infiltrator heads to win this game. Here we go. Let me go ahead and reset Stamp my opponent to two. Hopefully, take away their options to boss us next turn. I'm going to quick ball away this Jirachi and grab um, Fion. Yeah, I like the Fion grab here. And then Stellar Wish, look for a rare candy. Um, rare candy's not as important anymore, I guess, because of um, because of the fact that they drew a prize card. So we don't need another Dragapult per se. Attach Fion and Research. We'll knock out their active Pikaram. Um, did not get a can dude to candy into them. And yeah, I'm just gonna retreat and attack. Phantom Force, draw three prize cards. Yes, yeah, save. I mean, I guess I could have reinforced the way of energy, actually, to be honest. Uh, put three damage counters here. Yeah, they're gonna get the tag bolt here, which means they can for sure KO something off our bench. Um, they can't for sure knock out our active, though. This is where we need to hit an infiltrator heads. If they do have a boss's orders. They also win the game. I probably should have stamped last turn to try and get rid of the... They had a really big hand, so they could just, like, boss my Mew again, unfortunately, um, which they did do. Um, so that was unfortunate, but uh, yeah, I could have avoided that. So it's kind of my fault on that one. Quick ball coming in. Got themselves an Eldegoss. All right, so we're going to take another L here. So no heads once again on the Infiltrator. We're, like, a turn slow in this game as well. Um, and then backed up with, yeah, Tails on the initial Infiltrator. Wait, did we even... Did they even KO one? They KO'd one, yeah. No, no heads at all this game on the Infiltrators. That is the point of the deck, and we're going to end up with uh, another loss here. Oh, well. That is the deck. It's a pretty fun deck. Obviously, not a Tier 1 competitive deck, but it is fun. It's fun to play some of that baby Dragapult. Um, the deck's not too bad, especially once you get set up, you know, a turn behind your opponent. Usually, we're looking to set up, like, a turn behind our opponent attack. So, we're a little bit slow in this one. Didn't work out. Go ahead and give the deck a try for yourselves, though, because um, it is a, it's a ton of fun. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the games. If you did, give the video a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.